Some of you might remember that a while back we tried to build a liquid nitrogen bucket rocket. Now, a liquid nitrogen bucket rocket is basically a bucket into which you put a sealed container of liquid nitrogen. You then put another slightly larger bucket upside down on top of it. When the container of liquid nitrogen explodes, it propels that second bucket into the air. Now, our results weren't entirely successful. So anyway, we decided to have another go and we have spent literally minutes redesigning and rebuilding our bucket rocket. So before we actually go out to launch it, here's a little tour around the vehicle. Okay, so first up we have the uh, payload bay on top and in there we have our uh, brave astronaut. There we can see uh, comfortably seated. Uh, we have a couple of parachutes, one for the vehicle itself and one for the astronaut. And we've got this balloon in here to add a bit of spring because what happens is the top of the payload bay uh, is designed to ping off after about two seconds of flight. And having that balloon in there just gives it a little bit of ping to, to get the lid to come off. Now, this is the capsule release mechanism or the lid release mechanism. Uh, so we have a battery, and a small geared motor with a shaft on there and you can probably just about see there is a little piece of thick cable tie which runs through these two loops the cable tie secures through this loop here and when the switch is activated this starts to rotate pulls this cable tie through and releases the lid um, now we have a rather clever switch here made from a clothes peg a couple of bits of aluminium tape on the ends of the clothes peg so you can see the circuit passes through those when this is on the launch pad um, the circuit is broken because we've got this piece of plastic between the two bits here uh, but as soon as it takes off this tether is fixed to the ground so it yanks out this piece of plastic completes the circuit this starts to rotate and hopefully after about two seconds um, the lid will pop off the parachutes open and our astronaut will be ejected Okay, right, so we're about five minutes from launch now. We've got a narrow window in between rain showers, so we're set up and pretty much ready to go. There are a few changes to the launch system from last time. Rather than using a plastic bucket, we're now using, uh, as you can see here, <coughs> the bottom half of a CO2 fire extinguisher. So it's much stronger. We're gonna put some hot water in there. Then we're gonna uh, throw in the one liter bottle filled with liquid nitrogen, or about half filled with liquid nitrogen. We're gonna put the rocket on top. You can see it's tethered to the ground here. And that string should pull out the uh, little piece of plastic that currently breaks the circuit for the nose release, which should uh, then deploy the parachute and our astronaut. Oh my goodness, it's a scene of utter devastation. The liquid nitrogen bucket rocket Mark II has failed. And this is what's left of the actual bucket. Slightly more than the first, uh, the first version, so I guess that's some success. Uh, but the rest of it is kind of scattered around. And our brave astronaut is actually just be able to see up the tree. There we go. I guess we'll have to mount some kind of rescue mission. 